I got two flat circuits, circuit A and circuit B. Initially put 165 in this one. Got all my king valves shut off. But this, <coughs> this is a split system. It goes all the way down to the second floor. So we're just trying to determine is the evaporator coil leaking or the condenser unit leaking. So turn all these valves off. You can isolate these. I have no pressure in, in the evaporator. So everything from this point on, on both of these, circuit A and B, all that's evaporator. From this king valve, that king valve, all that's going downstairs somewhere to the evaporator. Everything, all my pressure, which I got a pressure, little trace gas, in this one, so circuit B goes around here, and then right here, put some liquid leak detector right here. I can do this in one hand. Let's see. If I can find my soap bubbles. There we go. So, right here, as you can see, it's spewing out. Like I say, that goes around, goes on that joint, and lands right here on circuit B. And we follow circuit A, go up on circuit A, which is right here, we got the same thing. See that bubble there? See if I can get a good shot at it. That's circuit A right there. We'll put a little bit on there. As you can see on that back side right there. I got another tough one. I got to get to that back side right there. I think you can see it right there. Cause I don't got nothing but about 25 PSI in this one. The good news is that I should be able to fix these. All right. So I got one on circuit A right here. So I'm really trying to pinpoint in my mind where is that. I could use a marker or something to put a circle, but I kind of know where it's at. So I'm gonna go down and get my torches and uh, come back up and repair that. This one, same thing. Reason this was spewing out, like I said, I got a lot more uh, pressure on this one. Like I said, I kind of got about 165 psi on that one. I had 165 PSI. That sucker dropping down quick. It's dropping down as we speak. Let me see on this top one right here, circuit A, which goes right here. Let's see how much pressure I had on circuit A. I think I had about 25 PSI. This is circuit A right here. What's circuit A? So what I'm gonna do, I got 55 PSI on that one. See some bubbles right here. Make sure they ain't the only leak. Hope they're just falling down right there. falling down. Alright, yes 
So anyway, I ended up leak searching this whole pool out of the UV in. And I finally found it back there. Because even with it spewing out, then I got all this other equipment around me. I really can't hear it. I was trying to stick my head in there. I still really can't hear it. I'm right here by it. So. What I probably do is give me a zip tie, two zip ties, and strap them down on here. On these two. That's where it's leaking at. So I know when I come back. I think I'm gonna go to lunch real quick. Take a break. That one still got a little press in there. See that blow back right there? That's either nitrogen or uh... That's either nitrogen or the trace gas. I gotta get all that out of there. So it's gonna be on this circuit right here. I just pulled this straighter vibe out. Nice. I don't know why. I was reading. I thought I was reading zero right there. I had this open. Alright, that's just a little nitrogen. Get that I 
got it right there. Make another trip down. This unit is still hot. You see that light. So usually when you those uh phase switches, if you got a red light on there right there, I mean you got a reverse phase. You swap two of your leads. But uh, so I got the compressor, 24 volt, uh -huh. both circuits. So they won't turn on with that crankcase heater. It's still hot because I don't know why this unit does not have a disconnect up here. Take both circuits at one time. Well, I'll do one at a time. So I got circuit A on my uh, suction thing. Yeah. Circuit A is on the suction, circuit B is on the liquid. Go ahead and hit both of them. Initial leak search. So I got 20. anything on that one but um so it equalized at 14 I'm trying to make sure I ain't got no no need file so yeah so I'm like I'm equalized at 14 I definitely got it right I got both of these so they would have been bubbling out with 14 psi so I definitely got those two. So I got equalized at 14. That's kind of hard to see. So I'm hanging tight at 14. leaks right there they were dropping fast so I'm gonna put some more in here Tight at one 
167. 167. Like a good sign, it's holding up. All right, so I'm gonna do a little housekeeping. Gotta remember to put a straighter in there before I charge that bad boy up. Should be good to go.